what's the most ridiculous piece of tech here at CES 2023? Could it be this VR roller coaster simulators? <laughs> Honestly, it might be, but there's so much stuff here, we have a lot to explore. So join me in walking around to find the most ridiculous stuff that we can find. Oh, they got robots. Hi, robot. Bye, robot. Whoa. How do I get this display in my room? That's the real question. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Check out these electric motorcycles. They look so sleek, but it'll cost you $27,000. Ooh, this is kind of cool. It looks like a normal bike, but it's actually projecting directions on the floor. How cool is that? I'd like to see how it works out in sunlight. This robot, who is kind of terrifying, is actually being controlled by this guy, who's wearing a VR headset. Yeah, he, he just raised his arm. Let's see what the robot's doing. He's raising his arm. All right, that's kind of cool. Feels like we're getting closer to Ender's Game. You know, where the little kid controls a whole army of soldiers and thinks that he's in a video game, but it's not really in a video game. <laughs> Guys, new boombox just dropped. There's no way that's the actual size, right? It looks massive. Ah, that's more like it. I could carry that one around. There's honestly quite a bit more holograms than I expected to be here. The way these holograms work is it's a fan that spins really quickly and on the blades there's a bunch of LEDs and lights such that you can display on it like a computer screen but you can also see through it because the fan blades are spinning so quickly. But if you're just gonna put like a black curtain behind it then what's the point? So to have a hologram actually be useful you kind of have to have it out in the open. Which begs the question, what happens if you stick your hand in it? <laughs> ah, the new USPS delivery truck. Does it look goofy? Most definitely. The purpose is so you could stand up completely when you're delivering stuff. With the spaciousness in there, you totally can. Bugatti's here. If you can't afford their car, maybe you can afford one of their electric scooters. Is it tacky for a high-end car manufacturer like Bugatti to make electric scooters? I right, know, I figured it out. What Bugatti should do is include one of those electric scooters inside of each of their cars, like those giant yachts that have like a mini yacht attached to it. This drone here has a thermal camera on it. If I go over here, Oh, I'm thermal. Maybe I need one of these for my computer so I can figure out where to put thermal face. Check out how massive this dump truck is. On top of that, it's autonomous. What? When I first read that sign, I thought it just said the IRS. As if the IRS was manufacturing a webcam. <laughs> Make sure you're doing your taxes correctly. Here is Sony's electric car, the Afila. A lot of people are already bragging on its name, so to avoid redundancy, I'll just post the jokes here. <laughs> These are next-gen 3D displays. The camera's not going to show you how it works. You can see it's all pixelated there. But when you're sitting there, the webcam tracks your face and then changes how the video itself is rendered. Legitimately looks like it's 3D without having to wear a headset or anything. Drive for months without charging in this electric car. It's a solar electric car. You see all the solar panels just covering the top. Can the charging really be that powerful? No way, Papa John's has a booth here? Turns out they're just selling pizza. That's not technology. Now this. This is technology. Hydrogen power. I like it. The future of massage chairs. It's clearly comfortable. Every single person has their eyes closed. I get it now. This USB adapter turns your wired keyboard into a Bluetooth device. Honestly, I never even thought about doing that. That's so cool. You ever wish you could have a more clear view of your food while it's cooking in the microwave? <laughs> well, boy, do I have a solution for you. This microwave is crystal clear. It doesn't have that mesh that other microwaves have, but it still provides the same protective properties. So now you have a perfect view of your food cooking. This 3D printer has not one, but two heads. Yeah. So I guess if one messes up, the other arm actually just picks right back up. Want to play some virtual golf? It's like the Wii on steroids. Thing. It's satisfying that, does it like snap at the end of the swing or something yeah, like that? Yeah, like like it, that yeah. <laughs> Draw me like one of your French pigs. <laughs> Meet the tiny home of the future. Let's take a look inside. Single stove top. Is there an oven? Oh no. Welcome to the master bedroom. Having to open windows everywhere makes this feel a lot more spacious. When the curtains are closed, it does feel a little more compact. And the bathroom. Why does this feel nicer than my, my bedroom at home? One thing I will say, all these surfaces look like really nice material. When you touch it, you can feel like it's lightweight. Sometimes, get what you pay for. Question, how would you feel about giving your robot vacuum a bunch of blades? Second question, how do you feel about a robot lawnmower? Thankfully, it has the built-in AI to know not to run over people <laughs> and only grass. Guess how many gumballs this giant gumball machine behind me can actually hold? I'll give you a hint, you're probably guessing too low. <laughs> it's like 40,000. But I'd say you should only put like 27,000 in because they're gonna start getting stale after that number. <laughs> GPU galore. 
personal favorite, the power color Red Devil line. I'm gonna drive until I crash. Holy crap. Whoa. Next gen SSD thermal solution. That's what I'm talking about. Check out how neat these look. And they come with vapor chamber plates to help keep the drives nice and cool. Those are sleek. Looks like a normal PC and monitor setup, right? Except this PC has another monitor just right inside of it. How cool is that? <laughs> this PC's water cooling solution is literally thinking outside the box. About half of it is just outside of the case. After searching long and hard, I think I finally found the most ridiculous thing here at CES. <laughs> this cat-covered robot. 